today I wanted to do a video on the topic, what is a marimba? And for quite some time I've been talking on my channel about marimbas, and specifically I've been talking about the M500 marimba made by the company Musser, which is the marimba that I have now purchased from Milan Recording Studios, and that is the one that I am sitting behind right now. So I wanted to talk about the, uh, the concept of a marimba and what exactly it is because some people simply aren't familiar with them and it's completely understandable why. Uh, while a marimba is laid out very similar to a piano, they're nowhere near as common as pianos. There are only a few manufacturers in the world that make marimbas that I know of. Of course, there's Musser in Elkhart, Indiana. There's a company up in Northern California called Marimba One. There is, of course, Yamaha in Japan that makes them, and there's also Adams in Holland that makes marimbas as well. There may be other manufacturers out there that I'm not aware of, but those are the four that I do know exist and that do make marimbas. Now, there are other instruments that look very similar to a marimba. There's, a, uh, there's the vibraphone, there's also the xylophone, which is very similar to a marimba, and there's also glockenspiels and other similar instruments like that, and there's a few little in-between things as well. But today I'm talking about the marimba and what qualifies a marimba. Now, marimbas are generally very large. The one I have here is five octaves from low C And so that goes all the way from five octaves, from low C all the way up to this very high C. Some uh, marimbas are four and a half or four octaves, but generally marimbas are very, very large. And they have extremely low, rumbly basses, which I really, really love, and they sound fantastic. Um, marimbas also have um, resonator tubes underneath. And uh, in the case of the M500, they're known as J-tubes down here in the bass because they're actually shaped like a J in order to really accentuate that bass. And the resonator tubes go all the way down the length of the instrument until they get to really, really tiny little, um, little stubby ones down here. There's, it's, hard, it's very, very uh, small down here. But uh, every note on the marimba and also the in-between spaces in between the, uh, the, what would be a, on the piano, a black notes, even those have resonator tubes which simply help uh, amplify the sound and give it a kind of sympathetic uh, ringing. And these particular ones are hollow, whereas the ones in between um, underneath the bars are actually, um, they have a, a little cap at the end that actually tunes the resonator tube in tune with the, the bar. So that is also what uh, sets the marimba apart from, say, a xylophone, because the xylophone commonly will not have uh, resonator tubes, and they're, they're also generally much smaller. So that is what a marimba is, and I just thought that I'd do that video because I've been talking about marimbas for quite some time, but I wasn't sure if everyone was uh, on board with the idea of what a marimba was, and when I said the word marimba, whether this came to mind or whether something like a vibraphone might come to mind, I actually have an M75 vibraphone over there in the corner, and I'll be doing a video on that as well, and talking about what a vibraphone is and what makes it different from the, rim from the marimba. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Um, the, the marimba is a very, very cool instrument. What's actually neat about the marimba is it's very, very old as well. In its present day state, it's only been around for a few hundred years, but the idea of having wooden bars suspended on strings over some form of amplification has been around for hundreds of years. There's an African instrument known as the balafon, which goes back hundreds of years, and it's primitive um, wooden bars that are suspended on strings over gourds, which are used for amplification, and instead of having black keys and white keys, it's just one uh, layer of keys, and it's a smaller instrument that's uh, held around the shoulders. And I think there's other variants of it as well that are used in different parts of Africa. So the marimba actually has African roots, and uh, it's a really, really cool instrument. Um, the African people really have cool, cool percussion instruments. There's all kinds of new percussion instruments that come out of Africa. There's these really cool shakers and shaker rays and all kinds of things, and the marimba happens to be one of them. So hopefully you found this video interesting and uh, informative, and uh, if you like this video, you might want to check out my channel. I've got all kinds of cool videos, uh, mostly about pianos, but also about organs and other cool instruments such as the marimba, and I'm going to have videos coming out of the marimba and the vibraphone, and if I get a xylophone, that as well. I'm going to be incorporating them into music in the future, so if that sounds cool, definitely stay tuned, and if you want to subscribe, you, uh, you can feel free, and if you do, thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.
One thing I wanted to mention about the M500 is that while the instrument itself is in, in, is incredible quality and the, the rosewood is really high quality and these uh, aluminum tubes are really, really nice, uh, and they must have spent a lot of time and effort getting this rosewood and building the marimba, they didn't cheap out on the tools that came with it. These aren't your chintzy bargain basement, like Home Depot bargain bin tools or dollar store tools. These are nice. So we have a, uh, a pair of cranks here which are... Um, they have the same kind of coating on them that the, uh, the resonator tubes do on this little part here. And then the handle here is a really nice high quality plastic and it's this metal here too. And these here are used for adjusting the height of your marimba. And while some people might need it to be raised or lowered, I personally think it's the, the right height if I were to play it, you know, I think it's, it's, it's the right height for me. So I don't really have to mess with these and when I'm not if I wasn't going to be adjusting it, I would take these out. But since I'm just do, 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 doing this for demo purposes, I put these in and installed them to show you how it would work. You just put them on and then you'd crank them uh, together at the same time and it would raise or lower the height of the marimba. And these are really high quality, they've got a nice heavy, hefty feel, and they're really, really great. And the other thing that I have here in my hand is a, it's basically a torque wrench, but it has a little uh, square notch in here that would fit over like a tuning peg, such as for a drum head. And uh, they have a few of those little knobs uh, down here for the rails, and that would fit right on here. Just like so. So if you wanted to adjust and tighten or loosen the, uh, the fit of the rail, that's how you do it. You'd use this tool. And it's a really, really nice tool. There's a little lever here you can, change, you can use to change the, uh, the direction that it tightens or loosens in. It's a really nice tool. And of course, it's branded with Ludwig too, which I think is a really nice touch. Um, I'm a, I have a Ludwig drum set myself, and I'm a big fan of them. So it's cool to have a Ludwig branded tool.